Now, since the outbreak of coronavirus, uh, public anxiety has been prevalent. People across the world are worried and there are concerns. Uh, uh, their concerns, rather, are fueled by the fact that the virus can cause serious harm and there are no medications as yet. That's not to mention the cancellations of schools, popular events, and the general disruption that has occurred due to the outbreak of coronavirus. Now, to give more insights on how to manage fears posed by the outbreak of coronavirus, I am joined by a psychologist from University of Just, Dr. Niri Mang. Good morning, Doctor. Yeah, good morning. Good to have you this morning. Now, let's go straight to the matter. The outbreak of coronavirus has changed virtually every human activity, and this has brought public anxiety in recent times. How can one cope with the panic and stress and fears associated with uh, this outbreak? Yeah, actually, this is a situation that has not been confronted before, and because of that, the anxiety is really high. Uh, it has presented a quandary, particularly because, you know, the nervous system has a way of reacting immediately to threats within the environment by either a flight or a fight mechanism. But in this case, you see, you cannot actually have a flight or fight because there is no clear information. We are unable to use that particular mechanism. Now, basically, the way we can cope with this uh, is, first of all, Nigerians should do the best that they can to continue to engage closely with their own people. And I don't mean that particularly by physical uh, touch, because, of course, that doesn't even give that opportunity. But we do have social media. We have all other kinds of things through Skype and everything. Let's keep talking to each other. Talk to your close people. Talk to your family. Be together. Secondly, take action where you can. Make sure that all the time you do the things that you are, you 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 will that will help you gain sanity within the house, since we are mostly all now indoors. And then thirdly, I've found that regular exercise helps. So people should make sure that they get enough exercise and uh, it will help. Fourthly, I always recommend that people should get good sleep. And this is the time, you know, we've always been very, very busy. Now it's time for people to learn how to slow down. And then I always also uh, advise that people should reduce their stress level by good uh, meditation or probably um, all kinds of, um, uh, uh, um, I mean, relaxation techniques. Yeah. Okay. Now, having said that, let's take a look at those who are in the front line. Uh, for instance, uh, the medical practitioners who are first responders, uh, so to speak. Um, are there some kind of psychological support that they would need at this time? Sure, sure. As a matter of fact, they are the ones who, who need it more. Uh, they need our own support in terms of their loved ones always keeping in touch with them. But more than just that, sincerely, the poverty rate in the country has not really been that helpful. Let them know that the government is ready to support them, to give them the strength necessary to, to, to do the best they can where they are doing what they are doing. Yeah, you know, there is anxiety as a result of the lack of test kits. And people are aware that these test kits are not sufficient, particularly uh, for this country, in this country. We need all the materials necessary as uh, medical practitioners that can help keep us safe. If that is not there psychologically they feel defeated even before they get in there right. so uh there is no other kind of support that these people can get without the government having to come in 
Okay, let's go to places of work now. You know, as you do know, there are those who are on essential duties, journalists, those in the media, you know, health practitioners, and some people who must have to go to work at this time. How do you manage, you know, to support them and to reassure uh, people, such people in this situation to say, you know, you still need to trudge on, you still need to forge ahead? Yeah, truly, the psychological from the psychological point of view these people must have um the assurance that as they are there fight trying to to do this work the government is there to stand by them uh one of the ways that china was able to beat this thing is basically because their government showed them clearly that we are going to, we, we're going with you, we're standing with you in all of this. As a journalist, I'm go, if you're going out and you're trying to now gain uh, a way of helping and you do not have the assurance that your family and everybody you're going to leave behind will be helped in any way, then it, it really defeats the purpose. You want to know that, yes, whatever you're going to put, if you're putting your, your life online, somebody else is going to look after those that you're going to leave behind. All right. Having said that, um, what's the place of positive thinking and the reaffirmation of oneself in the midst of crisis like this? Some people have resorted to that. What's the place of such mentality in these times? Yeah, it's actually very important too. As a matter of fact, we have to stay very, very positive. The minds of the people have to be encouraged. People should know that these are things that have happened before. And because they have happened before, they will pass. It, it will always pass. Now, if you're not aware that these things will pass, there is a, a, a reaction that may push you to do things the wrong way. So it's important psychologists can come in by systematic desensitization and meditation or breathing techniques to help many people. If you're not aware that these are things that have happened before and will definitely pass, there is a high level of you taking actions that are inappropriate. Now, before I let you go, uh, Dr. Mang there, um, now we are already in this situation and post COVID-19 um, in, in a country like Nigeria, for instance, where not so many people avail themselves of psychological support and psychological help. What do you yeah. recommend uh, moving forward, even post COVID-19? Yes, I do recommend very strongly that uh, the government recognizes the position of psychologists. Sincerely, I am surprised that your own station is one of the few stations that has been engaging with psychologists. More people that have been engaged in this very particular fight have been either doctors, psychiatrists, and the rest. But we do have, we need all the medical people, every healthcare part, the part, they have their own uh, response to issues like this. And uh, because of that, the government should strengthen the part where psychologists come in. Because sincerely, we are the ones to reduce the strength of uh, this reaction, how the public react to these very issues. Because we will know how their minds actually work. All right, thank you so very much, Dr. Niri Mang, psychologist from University of Jos, for joining us, and please be safe. Thank you.